Ryan Reynolds Deadpool himself opens up on Wolverine joining Marvel Studios production of Deadpool 3 and he talks about how getting Deadpool and Wolverine in a film was a miracle and something that truly excited everybody when it was 100% confirmed because of all the logistics that almost made it impossible. So for those that aren't aware, making something like Deadpool 3, which is picking up the story from Deadpool 1 and 2, which was done by Fox and completely different creative teams, directors, producers, and everything, and bringing the third one into the MCU, is one of these types of moves that's almost impossible to imagine. If you would have told people in Hollywood like 20 years ago that Marvel Studios would be making these types of deals with Sony and Fox in regards to characters, nobody would have believed you because at one point it was literally impossible. We've talked about how the production of Spider-Man No Way Home was almost, I mean, it's still hard to believe it happened because of how many things you had to do and how many people you had to talk to, agree upon, and get things together to make that film possible. Deadpool 3 lands almost in that same exact territory. So in an interview where Hugh Jackman was brought up and Ryan Reynolds talked a little bit about it, he talked about how this was one of those things that for a long time, as he said before, it was impossible. He gave up on it. And he said that when Hugh agreed to do it, he figured it was a dream come true. But at the same time, he didn't know if it would even be possible because of all the logistics and how getting him and Deadpool in a movie together was again, as he said before, behind red tape, contracts, logistics, things that make the X-Men and specific actors and characters off limits, specific things in motion. He had no idea whether it was even possible and ultimately trying to get things done was something that was beyond him in terms of this so it was all left over to marvel studios to try to make it a reality which they obviously did so it's good to find out more in regards to this type of a uh, you know scenario and how exactly hard it is and even if he would have said hey yeah hughes agreed to do it let's do it it's still not a well we can do this because there's so many other things in play that you logistically have to refer to complex contracts, things signed sometimes decades ago at this point, and look at the logistics of everybody involved, knowing that if you go ahead with this and something happens and you didn't check everything, you could be ready to put the film out and suddenly there's a lawsuit on your hands. And again, it's happened with Disney multiple times recently because of the Fox acquisition. Look at the film Prey. The Predator film Prey. They announced that they started production on it and then hit with multiple lawsuits. People celebrated it at the time because the film was woke and then people saw the film and then they dropped it going, well, it was a good Predator film. I guess they worked everything out. They still couldn't call it Predator because of logistics, but ultimately in the end, the contracts were figured out.